we're talking, we're talking. Let's see, we'll see. Let's get this, get this going flat. Make it actually nice. Ugh. Sorry, guys. Noobs, we're noobs. We're learning how to do this, but it's okay. No one's here yet. So today, Emily and I, we're at the museum, and hopefully you can hear us okay. I've got the mic here. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um, <laughs> we're going to be talking about Aussie slang. So I've got this little book here with Australian slang words in it, and I've got Emily with me from the museum, who's a fair income Aussie. <laughs> I sure am. How fair income are you, Emily? I'm pretty fair income. <laughs> I was born here, so you know. That's it. So we're going to talk about some slang terms out of here, and I'm going to see if Emily can define them and then use them in a sentence. How does that sound, Em? You're not okay. allowed to look, though. You're not okay. allowed to look. All right, I'm not looking. All right. A sparrow's fart. I've literally never heard that before. A sparrow's fart. A sparrow's fart. Yeah. I have no idea. I guess it'll be something really quiet. Well, I've, I've never heard that before. It's at dawn. So if you get up at sparrow's fart, it means that you get up at the crack of dawn. Oh, Okay, I've never heard that one. That is not a common <laughs> slang term in Australia. All right, what about ace? Ace, that, that means that's really good. Something that's really good is ace. Yeah, yeah. How would you use it in a sentence? I'd say, oh, you know, John, he's really ace. He's really good. He's ace as. He's ace, yeah. All right, what about aggro? What, would you use like, aggro in a... Yeah, it's sort of just short for aggressive. Yeah. Really. So you'd say someone's someone's getting really aggro means they're getting really aggressive. Yeah. Mm. And that's the kind of thing you would use on a daily basis. I might. Yeah. Maybe not, but a lot of people would. All right. What's another one we've got here? What's an akubra? An akubra is a Australian hat. Brand. It's a brand, isn't it? I think. Yeah. I yeah, believe it's so. A brand of like um, kind of a outback style hat. What you'd wear when you go on field work or something. And a Kubra hat. And a Might Kubra have hat. corks attached to it to keep the flies away. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What about um, if something is all the go? It's all the go. It, oh, it's it's in fashion. It's all the go. All the rage. I should I should like maybe pull this off and just <laughs> hold can it attach in front it of to you. me. If you want. I'll move it. I'll keep moving it. I'll keep moving it. All right. The next slang term. She she'll be apples. She'll be apples. Well, I haven't heard that, but I guess it means she'll be right. Like, it'll be okay, she'll be okay, whoever will be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about, all right, let's see if we can make it a little harder. To ask about, to ask to about. To ask about, to, like to muck around, to waste time, to, to not do anything productive. And so how would you use that in a sentence? I'd say, oh, he's just asking about, he's not doing his job. He's not doing his job. He's, he's asking, asking about. about. Arvo. That must I be like one you one. use all the time. Yeah, I use that one. Yeah, I guess I was using Arvo in front of some Canadians and they were very confused. This is an abbreviation for afternoon. Yeah. So this Arvo, this afternoon. So I would say this Arvo, I'm going to go and meet some friends. This one seems to always be really confusing for people because we often contract it's or this and just turn it into Savo, right? Like yeah, all the Savo. words on the front, yeah, if yeah. there's an is there, it just becomes Savo. Joins on Or some it. sort of sort S. Of like French. Yeah, and the same with this morning mm, mm. and this evening. Yep. Savo. Yeah. Avo. Avo, as in avocado. Yeah? Yeah, short for avocado. Avo. <laughs> That's an easy one. All right, let's see if I can take it to the next level. All right. Um... <laughs> There's a lot here that I don't even know. To bag someone. To insult someone. To bag them. So how would you use to bag someone say, in a sentence? Say, oh, he was bagging me out. So you can actually turn it into a phrasal verb. To bag someone out. Yeah. To bag out to, someone. Or he was bagging my friend. He was insulting my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So would you use that? Oh, I've, oh, I've used it before, yeah. I sometimes yeah. use that. It's sort of a silly... Thing to say, really, it doesn't. If you say you were bagging someone, you're probably not taking it very seriously. Like it's so not it's a, not like you're being really mean. It's kind of like you were teasing someone. Yeah, yeah. Although in high school, it probably was more serious if you were bagging someone. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> would you ever say to the teacher in high school, you might say, "Oh, Miss, he was bagging me out again." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what else can you say? It's just say the same thing to pay out, right? Would you ever say to pay someone out? I don't use that, but I've heard people use. That. I used to use that all the time. Mm. 
All right, next one. To go bananas. To go crazy. To go do something insane. Yep. He's going bananas means he's just being an idiot and going crazy or something. He's getting angry. He's going or, bananas. Oh, yeah, I guess it could mean angry as well. I was thinking more like he's like a little bit loopy, but, but I guess it could mean <laughs> really angry as well. And what's loopy? Loopy, like a little bit insane. A little yep. bit crazy, doing things that wouldn't be considered normal. All right. A basket case. That's similar to what we were just talking about. An insane person. Yeah. <laughs> so what would, how would you define the words in a basket case? Obviously a basket is often what something that's weaved, that's a container. You could put things in it, like yeah, a basket of Yeah, so why would apples. you put a basket in a case? <laughs> I don't know. Do you reckon that's why it's called? <laughs> I don't know, I just thought of that. But yeah, basket case. I've heard that quite a bit. Someone's a basket case. He's just a nut job, a wacko, loopy. Mm. He's just crazy, insane. Mm. Mm. Um, bathers, togs, bathers. Oh, this is a funny one. Bathers is... That's an Australian thing. Nobody else yeah. calls it bathers. And even in New Zealand, they get confused because they call it... What do they call it? I guess sw- togs, maybe. I'm mm. not sure, but they don't say bathers. So and what are they? What are bathers? Swimwear. Think something you wear at the beach, like a bikini or board shorts. Any of those things can be bathers. And so what would you... What's a good way of knowing what bathers means or thinking about it? It's like it's something you bathe in, right? Yeah. That's why they're called bathers. bathers. Yeah, but even so, it still leads to confusion. All right. What's a beanie? It's a winter woolly... Well, it doesn't have to be woolly, but a hat you wear, like you'd wear it to the snow. Yeah. A beanie. Yep, so that goes on your head. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can find one. <laughs> the bee's knees. What is the bee's knees? It's Apart from a brand thing. of beer. <laughs> the best thing. Like, if you're the bee's knees, you're the, you're the greatest. You, you describe something as being the bee's knees if you really liked it. So how would you use it in a sentence? Uh, I really like Pete. He's the bee's knees. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Sam. No worries. <laughs> um, a beer gut. <laughs> what, what's a beer gut, Em? Uh, it's a pot belly on someone who drinks a lot of beer. <laughs> I, I didn't realise that was Australian slang. It says here, disproportionately large stomach on a male from yeah. drinking beer. That's a bit sexist, you describe, guys. You probably don't describe a woman as having a beer gut. So generally. I guess it would be like a guy who looks like a pregnant woman. Yeah. Who is obviously not pregnant, yeah. but he gets it from it drinking like beer. Skinny legs, but big stomach. <laughs> So a beer gut, yeah. a beer gut. Yeah. Your birthday suit. It means you're naked because <laughs> you, when you were born on your birthday, you weren't wearing anything. So your birthday suit is no clothes. I had, I had never realised that. Really? <laughs> I thought it was just because when when it's your birthday, you just get naked, you know, because it's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you do on your birthday, but I generally don't get naked. I just meant, you know, like if you've got a wife or something, you know, you, you might have a bit of fun on your birthday because it's your birthday. And so it's your birthday suit is to have no clothes on yeah, on your birthday. No, I'm pretty sure it's because when you're born on your <laughs> birthday, you're naked. That's what I thought anyway. Um, the bizzo. Bizzo, like business. Yep. So mind your own bizzo could mean <laughs> mind your own business, but then also saying he owns a bizzo would be he owns a business. I've never heard it. I see it on here, but I've never actually heard it. I've heard it as in mind your own bizzo, although normally it's mind your own biz or yeah. something. What about um, a bingle? A, like a car accident. Bing, a, bit of, a bit of minor car accident. A, like bit, a of, bit of a bingle. A bit of a bingle means you might have like hit someone's bumper a little bit or something. It's not really a serious, serious deal, generally. <laughs> All right, what about... There's a whole, whole heap here that I just don't use. Blowies. <laughs> this is not the dirty yeah, kind. Yeah, I know. <laughs> a blowfly. An abbreviation for a blowfly, like a blow an, an insect. Um, <laughs> there are some awful ones on here that I just don't want to use. Um, Bob's your uncle. Someone the other day, mm. Richard, my housemate, sent a message to me saying, Bob's your uncle, mate. And I didn't realise that he was trying to show me that he'd learnt... This expression, uh, I thought that he was trying to use it, like right. he was saying to me, just Bob's your uncle. Like, what did I miss? So, yeah, exactly. I was like, what, what, what? So, what is it's Bob's hard, your it's uncle? It's hard to explain without an example. So How would you use it? You'd say, um, so I was trying to do something and then it worked, and Bob's your uncle. I don't know, that was a bad It's kind of like, there you go, like, right? Like, there you go, like, it just happened. It, it, yeah, so. I was looking for my dad and I went out into the backyard and Bob's your uncle. Yeah, there he was. There he is. Yeah, it's a bit weird. 
I, I didn't realise that was an Australian term only too. That was one of those ones where he said it and he's like, yeah, that's Aussie. I, I learned it today. <laughs> yeah, I guess it sounds like an Aussie thing. Who Bob's else would say uncle. that? It's pretty stupid. A bomb. A, a bong? A bomb. A bomb. Yeah. What, like a swimming pool bomb? No. Like oh. a vehicle. A oh, bomb, okay. Like a really crappy old beat up doesn't really run very well car a bomb like so there's a company you... called rent a bomb <laughs> and it's sort of like a car rental company but instead of renting a nice car you rent rent a crap car and, and you call it a bomb it's cheaper and you call it a bomb so yeah. it's a car that's pretty dodgy sketchy it's a bit unreliable yeah, yeah. probably needs to be repaired yeah definitely it's a bomb and it's you can call them if they're on a farm what would you call them these cars they're not registered they're in a oh, um... a paddock yeah, I, don't, I know. I don't know. Paddock bomb. Paddock bomb. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right, boardies. Board shorts. All right, board shorts. Rashy. Rash vest. So, Wetty. Wetsuit. <laughs> Sunnies. Sunglasses. Hey, this is just too easy. Bonza. Yeah, that's funny. Bonza. This is one of those stereotypical ones for yeah, me that bonza, it, mate. Like we a, all make a joke about, but no one uses. Yeah, no one uses bonza. Maybe if you lived in the outback and you were like a 50-year-old man or something, you might say bonza, but it's probably a joke. <laughs> <laughs> like crikey. Yeah, sort of like crikey. Like, no one really says that. But it's just said like as an exclamation of, that was really good. Yeah, or, like, yeah. oh, bonza. yeah, bonza, mate. Like, that's great. It's the same like, as ripper? Yeah, I or guess Or beauty? So. Yeah, like that, yeah. Except those are probably used a little more often, right? Yeah. I think I would use beauty, especially if it was like a kid who had found something cool, you know, like we're on the beach and I'm with a, a small child who's in my family and finds a shell or something and showed me it and they'd, yeah. I'd be like, oh, what a beauty, mate. Yeah, be fine. yeah, yeah, but Ripper. you wouldn't say bonza. <laughs> bonza. Everyone would laugh if you said bonza. Booze. Uh, it's a slang for alcohol. Booze bus. That's when the police are set up to catch people drink driving, a booze bus. Bottle-o. A bottle store as a place that sells liquor. Um, what else have we got here? Bottoms up. When would you say that? If you're drinking, the bottom of the drink up, bottoms up. So skull it, basically. Or finish the finish drink. Finish it, yeah. All right. Bevo. I guess beverage. Uh, um, <laughs> there's a whole heap here that I just don't know. Brekkie's an obvious one. Yeah, breakfast. Would you use that? I do. I say That's brekkie. pretty common, yeah, right? Yeah, That's really common. And the same with bicky? Yeah, bicky's pretty common. Yep, biscuit. How yep. would you use that in a sentence? I have some. Have a tea with some bickies. Yeah, like it's a bit of an biscuits. older lady kind yeah, of thing. Old do you kids want bickies. some bickies? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Nana, we'll have some freaking bickies. <laughs> um, do you use terms like sparky, bricky, tradey? Talking uh, yeah, about tradesmen, yep. tradespeople. I say tradey. Yep, I don't usually specify, but if I did, I might say sparky or bricky. And what is a sparky? Sparky is an electrician. Yep. And a bricky is a bricklayer, and a tradie is a tradesperson. And what have you heard any uh, slang terms for plumbers? Oh yeah. Um, These are longer though. I don't think it's like an easy just an add a Y or an I. Yeah, into I it. don't. I don't know. Dunny either. diver. Dunny diver. <laughs> oh no, that's awful. <laughs> Dunny diver. All right, let's find some other ones. Bugger. Would you use bugger? Yeah, I say bugger. Yeah, but that's yeah. just because I say stupid things. That that's like a. In place of saying a swear word, you'd say bugger. Yeah. Like something, oh, damn. Bugger. 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 I think that's a very old word from English, British English, because I yeah. think they use that as well. Yeah. The same with bloody. We'd say bloody as yeah. well quite a bit, mm. like bloody oath. But they're not very offensive. They're kind of very They're very tame. benign. Yeah. Yep. All right. What about, let's see here, bugger off. You'd obviously use that, right? Bugger that's a nicer off. way of saying. Piss off. <laughs> Go away. That's funny, isn't it? How bugger is probably, if you looked up the literal meaning, yeah, I can't much, say that. Yeah, I can't say the literal bad. meaning. It's bad. But bugger off is probably less offensive than saying piss mm, off to someone. I think someone. it's just because everyone's used to bugger off. Yeah. Um, bulldust. Bulldust. Man, we're still, it's we're like still in B. It's the sort of same yeah. as bullshit. Just crap. Bulldust. <laughs> Bum fluff. <laughs> is that a fart? <laughs> Bum fluff, like think, fluff from your bum. Think facial hair for young people. Oh, like a little shitty yeah. beard is like a bum <laughs> fluff. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, I have heard that. A when lot you, of these when I haven't heard When you're a preteen and you can't really grow a beard, you got a bit it. of bum fluff. I haven't heard some of these since I was a teenager. Yeah. Bum fluff, bum fluff. Um, <laughs> there's still some bad. Have a burl. 
like have a shot at it, have a go, give it a go, have yep. a burl. Have a burl. What about bush bash? It's, it's when you're going into the bush and it's really thick and you have to bat, <laughs> yeah. literally bash, bush bash. <laughs> to cack. Cack. Yeah. Like laughing. Yeah. Cack to ca- like cack yourself laughing. Yeah. So that would be short, I would imagine, for cackle. Right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, true. Yep. Like you would imagine if you say the verb to cackle, that would be like a witch laughing. Yeah. <laughs> like a, Stirring yeah. the pot, you know, Hansel mm. and Gretel. Mm. But we say cack as in to cack yourself. Mm. Mm-hmm. But it can also mean? Shit yourself. <laughs> yeah. Like do a poo in your pants. <laughs> That's it. Cactus. Oh, if, some, if something's cactus, it means it's crap. Like it's gone kaput. It doesn't work. So how would you use that in a sentence? And would you use it for certain things or would just anything? Yeah, I mean, it, I guess it's pretty specific. Maybe something that's supposed to be... Like something mechanical. Maybe you'd say cactus stopped working. Like a car's gone cactus. I yep. don't know. It's a hard right. one. Um, what else have we got here? Let's see. Let's speed up a bit. Go through this Skip a bit through more. through the alphabet. Um... Cactus we did to cark it. To die. To die? To cark it, yeah, something dies. Similar to cactus? A little bit, but literal death more than just doesn't work anymore. Clapped out. Clapped out. Is that like when someone claps you just like at the end of something? Clapped, no. clapped out. I think if I said my old bombs clapped out. Oh, clapped out, like it's, it's died. Another yep. one to Another me. Another one it's, for that. It stopped working. To get a bit clucky. That's a term that would refer to women or maybe men as well when they have like those maternal feelings where they want to they maybe want to have a baby like if you see if a woman sees a baby and they're oh it's so cute you say you're getting a bit clucky as well and why do you think it's to get clucky what would you probably something to do with chickens i don't know chickens yeah chicken the noise that chicken makes is cluck but i'm not really sure why it's associated with maternal feelings i mean chickens are female bird yeah. version of a rooster. I guess they're good mums, right? They sit on their nest, they have their I guess, you know, but there's plenty of animals like that. I don't well, know you'd why imagine most clucky. animals are probably pretty good mums, except for, you know, <laughs> anything yeah. that leaves leaves their kids at young, at um, once they hatch or something. Yeah. Um, Alright, clear the cobwebs. Clear the cobwebs. <laughs> Maybe we'll skip that one. That's, you guys can look up the literal form for that. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I've never heard that. Um, cocky. That's as in you think you're really good, you're a bit cocky. That's, that would be used all over the place, but what's it short for if we're talking about an animal? Cocky. Oh, okay. Um, a rooster. Yeah, or a cockatoo. Yeah. Is cocky, that? yeah. Cocky? Apparently, yeah. according to this. Oh, a cockatoo. Yeah, a cocky. I don't know why yeah. I thought a rooster. No, that's a, yeah, a cockatoo. What would you think I was talking about if I said, now we're cooking with gas? Now things are really working well. Yeah. Because... I don't know why that's related to cooking with gas, but I guess that's... I guess it would be, right, if you were cooking with a fire, it's a little harder because you have less control over it and it's mm. probably a little less refined. But mm. if you suddenly have a gas stove mm. and you're Maybe. cooking with a gas stove, it's like, okay, now it's efficient, now it's working. Could now be. we're cooking with gas, guys. Yep. Come to raw... <laughs> There's a coldie. A coldie, a cold drink? Yeah. Have a coldie, Do you generally alcoholic? A tinny. A drink in a tin, tin thing, like a can of drink? A stubby. Is that, does that refer to the, like the glass bottle, like a glass alcohol bottle, like a yeah. beer bottle? Yeah. yeah. Um, what else is there? There's a few of those alcohol ones. Okay, what about... <laughs> oh no, don't, don't <laughs> say that one. If Never heard that. If something's crash hot. Uh, it's really good like a really nice car might be a crash hot car or something yeah mm. um dinky d have you ever heard that dinky d oh man it's it's really really oh, dinky d dinky die i thought of it as is it? Dinky i always D-die. think of it as dinky i don't know D-die. like it's oh that's dinky die but i thought of it like die but i don't know i've never really heard it in real life so <laughs> could be either probably you're probably right all right what about if you dink someone is it when you they ride on the back? If you're on a motorbike and you give them a dink, it means you give them a ride on the back? I think it would be more like a, a bicycle where you would put them on the front of the bike on the front? or on the uh, back and you yeah. dink them as to give them a lift. Yeah, okay. To dink someone. Or dolled up. Looking nice, getting, like, usually 
something like putting makeup on and putting a dress on or putting a nice suit on or something, I guess, as well. But and why do you think it's called to doll up or to be dolled up? What is doll? Well, I, I guess it's somehow related to dolls, as in they're always perfect. You know, whenever you see a little girl's doll, it always yeah, looks perfect. With nice makeup. With nice, well, they usually have makeup on. That's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, if someone does a donut oh, yeah. or a doughy yep. in their old bomb, what does that mean? <laughs> they're doing like a... I don't really know how it works technically, but they're doing some kind of thing with their car where they drive it around in circles. I don't really know. How does a donut work? Is it like you a burnout? You spin the back wheels yeah. Yeah, of the car and you create smoke out of the car and you go round in a circle. Yeah, and it leaves big tyre marks all over the road. Yeah, that's a doughy yeah, or a donut. Doughy, yeah. So it looks like a donut, like it's a circular mm. circular black mark, mark I guess, yep, on yep, the road. Yep. Um, to drink with the flies. I've that's, never heard That's it. pretty obscure. No, I've never heard it. That means to drink alone. So if you went to a bar or a pub and you oh, yeah. had no one to be no there around, with, and you sat down, you have some bevies, you and have the fly some... lands there, and you're like, I'm drinking with the flies. <laughs> exactly. To give lip. Oh, it's sort of like have an attitude. Yeah. Like if you're giving lip to someone, you're talking back to them, saying some, maybe some rude things back. So what would be an example of where you would use that? Say if you're a student and uh, the, you said something to your teacher. The, the teacher might say, "I'll oh, stop giving me lip, Pete." That happened quite a bit, <laughs> as you can imagine. <laughs> to go ape shit. To go crazy. To get angry. Yeah, yeah. To give someone a gobful. A gob, is it sort a of gobful? A gobful, as in to give them a talking to or something. Yeah, to give them a mouthful, I guess, to sort of yell at yeah, them, to yeah. give them a gobful. Mm. To eat. Um, what else have we got here? Good on you, mate. Well done. This can be used twice, two ways, right? Sarcastic. Oh, yeah, it could be sarcastic, and then it means, oh, you're an idiot. But if, <laughs> if it's serious, it means well done. So what are some examples where you could imagine using, good on you, mate? Like, seriously? Or mm. sarcastically? Both. Well, seriously, if somebody's done something really good, and you think it's, they're, they're worthy of congratulating, you yep. say, good on you, mate, that's a really good job, or something. Yep. But, you know, if they were... So if I said something to you like... Um, uh, oh, that was such a good job, job, Em. Like, oh, my God, amazing. Like, if you could tell I was um, being sarcastic, you could yeah. say to me... Oh, good on you, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> good on you, mate. Don't get your hand off it. <laughs> goss. Short for gossip. And how would you use it? Uh, so I heard some goss the other day that Fred has a new girlfriend. Yeah. Would you ever gossip. say, what's the goss? Yeah, what's the goss? Yeah, I say that sometimes. Going to the office and say, what's the goss? Hey, guys. Like, what's news? Yeah. What else have we got here? <laughs> Greeny. Greeny? Yeah. Like, is this to do with gardening? No. Greeny. As a in a, a new person, like a noob? Mm, you could use it like that, but that's not what they've got written down here. A greeny would be political. Oh, okay. Uh, someone who aligns with the Green Party, probably then. Mm-hmm. Like someone who's environmentally focused, a greenie. Yep. What about make it snappy? Make it snappy. Make, make it quick, as in hurry along. Don't, yeah, don't waste my time. Um, <laughs> to make feathers fly. I guess that means to annoy people or to... To make a commotion. Yeah. So how would you use that? I if mean, someone gets know. in there and starts making feathers fly, what would that sort of... Well, I guess it means they're upsetting the people around them. Like if you went into a chicken coop and put a, put a cat in there and feathers go everywhere. Yeah, to make feathers fly. Mm. Um, malarkey. <laughs> malarkey. Is that a Greek thing? I don't know. I don't know. I or know maybe the they're malaka. Malaka yeah. Malaka's a Greek malarkey. word. Malarkey. Is it like making a, making a mess or something or making a ruckus? Foolish or? talk. Malarkey. Apparently, apparently on here. Mm-hmm. What about to make tracks? To get going. To leave? Yeah, to go. And to make waves? To make a difference? To make waves? Cause trouble. Sort oh, of yeah. like to make feathers fly, I guess, but maybe a but little you don't, less Yeah, disruptive. that doesn't necessarily have to be disruptive. You can make waves as in making progress, and it could be a good thing if, yeah. if, if, if you needed to. Yeah. All right, let's see what else. There's a few good ones here. Mongrel. <laughs> Mongrel. <laughs> How would you define that? Um... <laughs> Someone you really don't like. Something. Mongrel is actually a, 
normally refers to a dog, I think, like yeah, a like a, cross. a crossbreed dog. So if you were calling some a person a mongrel, it probably means that you really don't like them. You think they're a bit of a drop kick kind of. It's not yeah. It's not a good polite term. No, and but although it's it sort of used as a joke too sometimes. Uh, but, he's, but, oh, he's such a mongrel. Yeah. What about um, prang? This is similar to prang. Bingle, right? Yeah, like bingle, a, a small, slight car accident. Yeah. Um, what else have we got to pussyfoot around? Yeah, that's sort of like to dance around the issue or to... Tiptoe. To, yeah, to not confront something head on. To pussyfoot around, trying too hard to, to not offend someone. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Pull your socks up. Or get your shit together, you know, like, <laughs> you know. Get, I don't know. <laughs> Improve your performance. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> Prezies, that's one that we would use Prezies, short for presents, like you as must, in the, the gift. Yeah, so. you must get your kid quite a few at Prezies. the moment. Prezies. Yeah, go get it, you Prezi shopping. Yeah, Christmas so is that shopping what you would say on, during Chrissy? You'd sit yeah, down Christmas, and you'd be like, yeah. oh, we're going to sit down under the tree. Let's open the Prezies. Open our Prezies, yeah, let's go crazy. It's Chrissy and we're going to open our Prezies. Yeah. yeah. Christmas, yeah. presents, pretty much. That is one that I use all the time. Yeah, I do as well. I think I said that to Kevin and he was like, that's such an Australian thing to that's say. That's our supervisor who's American and he always hears us saying slang. Yeah. So, yeah and you'd say to him, oh, pretty much. When yeah. would you use pretty much? To sort of mean that's pretty... Oh, God, I can't even say it without using it as an example. That's basically what I meant. That's pretty much it. You know, close enough, pretty much. Or, you know, yeah. you could use it in other contexts like... Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I would say that though. If someone asked me something and I was kind of like, it wasn't exact, it wasn't spot on, but it was pretty, pretty much, much what you meant. Yeah, pretty much. Like, have you had a bad day? And if it was sort of like, well, it hasn't been really good, so you could say, yeah, pretty much. It's been a pretty average day, mm. pretty much. All right. Um, the amber fluid. Amber fluid. Yeah, we is think, it, think booze. Yeah, I was gonna say, is that beer? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't amber heard that Amber fluid though. because it's the colour of amber, right? Yep. Rack off. Piss off. Yeah. Like go away. Would you use it? Rack I off. I don't think I'm, I. I don't think I use rack off. I would probably say, well, it depends on how rude I was wanting to be. But I would say mm. piss off if I was wanting to be rude. <laughs> but if I, but I would say like leave me alone if I'm trying to be more. No, that sounds rude too. Just say bugger off. Just bugger off. Just yeah, go away. bugger off. Or if you want to make it worse, piss off. <laughs> Um, <laughs> as rare as hen's teeth. Well, yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> hen's teeth don't exist, right? So yeah, that's it's it. something that's really, really rare, but <laughs> probably not literally because then it wouldn't exist as well. Uh, to rip off. To take advantage of someone in terms of money. So to rip them off would mean to charge them more for something than it's actually worth. Yep. Um, what about Rido? Rido, a sort of just okay, Rido. Yeah, I think I would use it like that too. I'd be more like, yeah, Rido, mate. You know, and again, you can use it in, oh, okay, yep, yeah, Rido, as in, yeah, I agree, I see, all right, all good. Mm. Or you could use it as like a sarcastic, yeah, Rido, mate, good on you, sure, whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, let's finish it up with one last one, Sanger. Sanger, sandwich. Yeah, so would you use that? No. But you wouldn't I, call it a sanger? I wouldn't, but I have definitely hear people calling it a sanger. So what would you, would you reckon bogans are the ones who use that a bit yeah, more? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. what's a bogan? We might as well explain bogan that before is we a, Oh my gosh, I'm not sure how to explain this without sounding rude. <laughs> there's, there's no bogans watching, is there? I hope, I'm, I I hope there aren't. I'm hey, sure I, I really like bogans, but... Uh, the best thing about bogans, though, is that everyone refers to other people as bogans, but no one ever stands up and says, yeah, I'm, a bogan. I'm a bogan, and therefore I'm offended. So no one is really offended <clears throat> unless you call them one on the spot well, and I, accuse you know, them. I could say I'm a bit of a bogan. Yeah? I'm a little bit of a bogan. But what is a bogan? How would you explain what a bogan is? It's a bit of a loose definition. I guess it depends who you ask as to what a bogan is. But I would describe a bogan as someone who's, you know, not really into... Heru's watching. Oh, hi, Heru. <laughs> Get back to work, Heru. <laughs> <laughs> They're not really, you know, into culturally refined things. They really just like having a beer and hanging out with their mates and, you know, maybe they really like cars or so. I don't know. This is a really bad mm. definition. I would say uncouth. Uncouth? Rude. 
They don't have to be rude, though. Yeah. See, it depends on what your definition is. A bogan can be an insult, as in there's someone who's a bit of a dick asshole and makes a scene in public and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Or it could be just someone who's... Maleducated. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Really? But, well, I don't, well, maybe. I mean, probably probably you find less bogans at a university than you would at a shopping centre. <laughs> oh, God. There you go, guys. That's the definition of a bogan right there. <laughs> M is one. M is a bit of a bogan. Well, you know, I grew up in a bo what would be considered a bogan suburb, so, so what I would were, identify as a bit of a bogan. When you were a kid, what were some bogan activities that you carried out? Well, I wouldn't say I personally carried out bogan activities, but certainly people I know carried out bogan activities, like guys at my school like driving around in beat up cars doing doughies you know, that's a bit of a bogan activity um, getting an old run down Holden Commodore and yeah. driving around at like 2am and doing donuts but I would describe that as a bogan activity mm, but you know that's pretty fairly insulting that's it alright well that's it guys we I don't know how long we've spent here maybe 20 minutes chatting about different Aussie slang terms. Thank mm. you, Emily. No worries. <laughs> no wackers, mate. <laughs> no, no wackers. <laughs> no dramas. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy it. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. See ya.